عبد الرحمن عبد القائم. Uh, so I'll be t uh, we, I'll be uh, talking about the Bosnia classification. Thank you, uh, Dr. Bader, for uh, this opportunity to to uh, present this topic. Uh, so my talk is uh, mainly um, uh, taken from uh, this uh, article, Bosnia classification of cystic renal masses, uh, version uh, 2019, a pictorial guide to clinical use. So. Uh, you can scan this QR uh, code uh, so you can uh, uh, access this um, uh, article. It is completely free. Uh, so uh, some of the uh, descriptions and uh, boxes and tables uh, in the uh, Bosnia classification, although I tried my best to simplify, uh, still some, some of them uh, needs to be uh, rechecked again and again uh, to sort of solidify the information. So I'll, with that, we'll uh, start, uh, um, first of all, with few uh, cases. So we'll start with this case. So I'll try to pull up the, uh, the polling. So I'll do, okay, can you see the poll? Okay, good, I'm seeing yeah. some results. So and this um, is just give them like a 20 second so they yeah. can, they can. Uh... So this is the first uh, case, these try. So basically this is a, too small for CT characterization, cystic lesion within the right kidney, uh, and uh, uh, nephrographic phase. So, end poll, share result. So, uh, most of uh, maybe 55% chose uh, the first A. Good, we'll move on to the next. I'll, I'll uh, describe it uh, later on. So this is the second question. Start the next poll. Just a minute. Launch, okay. So this is the next question. Basically again, choose the Bosnia classification. So the descriptors are there in the picture, it has cystic lesion within the right lower pole, it has many thin septations. Okay, so we'll end, perfect. Uh, almost. 88% uh, of you chose the second, which is the correct answer. I'll describe more in the next, uh, during the talk. Next case, this one. So this is the result. Stop sharing. I'll... Okay, third, third poll. So basically this is a right renal, uh, a mass with abundant calcification. Five seconds, hand over, end. So, end poll, share. So, uh, it's 73% uh, 73 between four and uh, none of the above, that's okay. That's fine, okay, we'll, we'll describe it more. So uh, the fourth case, this one, let's start the polling. So basically this is a uh, renal cystic uh, lesion with smooth, thick wall measuring more than seven millimeter. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'll end the poll now. So uh, almost more than 60% chose uh, three, which is the correct answer. 
next case, the final case. Stop sharing or pull up the polling. Launch. So basically, this is a heterogeneous uh, T1 signal intense uh, lesion, which did not enhance. This is a subtracted image uh, with no definite enhancement. So I'll end the poll in five seconds. Okay. So uh, more than almost 40% chose two. Uh, I'll describe it more in the coming lecture. Uh, so stop sharing. So we'll, uh, I'll start the talk uh, with uh, some of my objectives. So um, my objective will be uh, so some introduction about the uh, Bosniak classification, uh, when to use uh, Bosniak imaging techniques, uh, imaging features and definitions, and finally uh, recommendations. Okay, so for the introduction, it's um, uh, Bosniak to 2019 uh, t t has um, uh, of cystic renal masses underwent major revision, and it incorporated the uh, the use of MRI and uh, characterizing uh, lesions. It defined masses to which the uh, classification should be applied to. Defined uh, imaging features and terms, so it improved interobservable va variability. It emphasized specificity for diagnosis of cystic renal cancer. So new data has, uh, uh, has indicated that cystic renal uh, cancer uh, has, uh, are almost certainly overdiagnosed previously and overtreated. 10-year uh, uh, risk of death from uh, earlier uh, stages of cystic renal cancer is approximately uh, as low as uh, 0 0.2 uh, 0.2 uh, percent only so uh, and all, uh, the use of uh, the virgin 2019 has resulted in down classifying some masses in uh, histologically confirmed cystic masses images uh, image with mri while while maintaining the sensitivity for renal cell carcinoma. So basically the, uh, the new uh, Bosnia classification has downgraded some of the uh, previously uh, uh, Bosnia 3 to uh, Bosnia 2F, but still uh, maintaining the same sensitivity for RCC. So when to use the Bosnia classification, <clears throat> the mass should be or must be uh, composed of less than 25 percent enhancing component. So basically, uh, uh, at least 75% of the mass is cystic. This is all subjective. Uh, so a pitfall is uh, necrotic RCC, uh, where uh, a few, a few uh, uh, in cases of necrosis or necrotic RCC, it, it is usually central with L defined. This is how to differentiate, differentiate between the two. So the, uh, the uh, necrosis is central with L defined bold, uh, border and thick wall. I have one example here provided. So if you, uh, uh, you can see a right uh, upper pole uh, necrotic RCC because of the uh, pre uh, peripheral thick L defined uh, enhancing uh, component and central non enhancement. So uh, moving on to the imaging uh, techniques. Uh, so uh, the renal mass protocol should be composed of uh, pre-contrast enha and enhanced images in three phase at least. So uh, three phase, uh, exactly. So uh, uh, corticomodular phase, three, 35 uh, seconds, and nephrographic, 110 seconds, Euro urographic phase, uh, approximately five seconds, uh, five uh, minutes. So um, uh, the uh, reconstructed images should be at least three millimeters in thickness. For the MRI, it uh, should have T1, T2, uh, chemical shift, uh, fat suppressed T1, and pre and post contrast. There was no mentioning of uh, uh, diffusion weighted imaging. However, it proved uh, in recent data that uh, it, it has some uh, benefit uh, in, in identifying uh, malignant uh, uh, lesions. 
So the role of uh, ultrasound, <clears throat> uh, I've been taught during my residency that uh, we should not use uh, Bosniac in classifying uh, uh, cystic renal masses. However, the new classification uh, allowed to use uh, uh, up to Bosniac 2 in some extent, uh, Bosniac 2, but uh, we can use freely Bosniac 1 if you see this lesion over here and uh, the ultrasound completely uh, uh, anechoic with the posterior acoustic enhancement. Uh, if you apply color Doppler, it's uh, no, uh, demonstrates no enhancement. Uh, and no classification, so this is Bosniac one. Uh, still, uh, renal masses uh, should be uh, evaluated more with uh, CT and MRI to uh, uh, determine Bosniac three and four. So for the uh, imaging uh, definitions, uh, the enhancement uh, definition has been uh, uh, said that uh, should be um, it can be uh, by just eyeballing subject subjective if you think that there is enhancement there is enhancement and you can uh, quantify uh, the enhancement by at least 20 uh, house field units in CT rise in pre and post contrast or uh, 15 uh, percentage in signal intensity and in MRI. Some of the important uh, definitions uh, in the Bosnia classification has been provided. So uh, the definition for septum is a linear or curvilinear structure that connects two surfaces. Few is one to three in number, many uh, four and more. Uh, thin is uh, two and uh, less uh, millimeter. Minimally thickened is exactly three. Thick is four and more. So a uh, wall or septal irregularity is obtusely uh, uh, margin uh, enhancing convex protrusion, which is three and more millimeter. We'll go through that in the images. And a nodule is enhancing convex protrusion with acute margin or more than four millimeter with obtuse margins. Moving on to the Bosnia classification. So this is the, uh, the simplest of the Bosniak classification, basically one. So uh, if you see uh, as provided here in the uh, image, this is a simple uh, cyst, large cyst within the right lower pole. It has thin, which is a, a, a two or less uh, than that uh, of a wall or sep uh, just wall with homogeneous simple fluid. Uh, between minus nine to 20 house field unit. There is no septi, no calcification, and minimal enhancement of the wall is okay. Still Bosniak one. <clears throat> Moving on to the more complex Bosniak two. So uh, this is uh, one example of the uh, many types of uh, Bosniak two in CT. So uh, the first type in CT is cystic mass with a thin, uh, uh, at least uh, uh, at most two millimeter or less uh, and uh, or, or uh, few septi. So up to three septi are accepted. Um, any type of calcification, if it's uh, not abundant is, uh, is accepted. So this lesion has been evaluated by MRI. As you can see, the septa uh, is less than three with thin uh, measurement uh, less than uh, two and less. So this is the first type. The second type is what we call a hemorrhagic cyst, hyperattenuating uh, lesion at non-contrast CT uh, with house field units more than 70. Uh, this is to emphasize any type of classification as uh, still within Bosniak two or less. Um, so homogeneous masses with uh, uh, house field unit uh, between 21 to 30 house field unit in Porto Venus phase is considered Bosniak two, and this is oh, the the uh, uh, too small to characterize has been added to uh, the Bosniak two class, uh, classification. So if you see a, a lesion, uh, what uh, and you perceive it as too small to characterize, which which uh, has a its own definition, we'll go through it next. Uh, can, you can put uh, Bosniak 2 actually. 
So these are some of the examples. This one is hyperattenuating region, uh, measuring more than 70. This is most likely hemorrhagic cyst. Bosniac 2, this is a simple cyst measuring two household units. This is one of the uh, most common le uh, lesions we face in the uh, venous phase. Uh, a cystic lesion with house vein units falling between 21 to 30 uh, in the portal venous phase. This is Bosniac 2, and that's a too small to characterize a lesion, Bosniac 2. For the MRI, <clears throat> homogeneous masses markedly hyper intense on T1 weighted images, which is the equivalent to the CT hyper intense uh, signal, uh, most likely present a hemorrhagic cyst. Uh, make sure that this is non-enhanced. So uh, both uh, fall under Bosniac too. Moving on, uh, moving on to the definition for the uh, too small to characterize. It has been uh, defined as if the lesion is measuring less than the twice the uh, slice thickness uh, of the uh, CT. So for example, uh, we reconstruct the CT abdomen at uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, thickness. So we are allowed to use this term if the lesion is less than five millimeter and we can classify it as two. This is one of the example I bought in the questions. Moving on to the uh, 2F versus three, this is one of the most confusing uh, category and to differentiate between the two. So this is a um, an old the old uh, Bosniak classification. They described the two uh, F uh, as uh, two types, uh, minimally thickened or more than a few uh, a few thin septi with or without perceived enhancement, <clears throat> without providing any uh, definition for uh, these uh, terms. Uh, and another, uh, uh, the other uh, type is uh, intrarenal non-enhancing hyperattenuating renal mass. So for this type, it has been removed, and it, it, uh, the new Bosniak actually recommend uh, uh, um, the further characterization for MRI. So we have few indications to do MRI. This is one of the indications. So for the uh, table regarding the uh, uh, Bosniak 2F. <coughs> Uh, this is one of the uh, uh, cases you answered all cor correctly or almost all of you correctly. So cystic masses with smooth, minimally thick, thickened uh, enhancing wall. So exactly three millimeter uh, or multiple thin uh, septi. So this example over here is for a cystic, uh, cystic lesion with uh, uh, many, as, as many as uh, possible uh, 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 septi, but still uh, less than uh, three uh, millimeter, it's accepted to put uh, Wozniak 2F. And uh, if the uh, septum is uh, uh, three millimeter, uh, it's still okay to call it uh, 2F. Uh, in the MRI, uh, they added um, uh, a cystic mass that is heterogeneous and hyper intense. This is one of the cases I brought again. So this is the uh, heterogeneous hyper intense T1 signal intensity uh, within the mass. It has no uh, post contrast enhancement. Still, you can, uh, you should um, apply uh, uh, Bosniak 2F. <clears throat> Moving on to the Bosniak 3. So uh, Bosniak 3 is applied for uh, if uh, the lesion has one or more enhancing, uh, enhancing uh, wall or septi. So this two examples for uh, the, uh, the first descriptor. This one of the uh, this is one of the cases I brought uh, uh, in the cases. So if, if you see this wall is thickened but still maintaining its sm smooth contour measured more than four, uh, but still uh, uh, can be categorized as three. This is one, this, another lesion is uh, with a septum that is measuring more than five, but still maintaining the, its smooth uh, margin. Uh, so the other uh, descriptor is enhancing irregular, but three or 
less millimeter uh, uh, obtusely margined convex. So this is another example. A regular contour, but, but still uh, measuring less than three or three. Bosniak three. Moving on to uh, more simple uh, Bosniak four. Uh, so this is uh, a, a lesion that has a one or more enhancing nodule uh, uh, measuring four or more uh, with convex protrusion with obtuse margins or convex protrusion of any size that has acute margins. So even less than four millimeter, it, if it has acute margins, it can be categorized as four. So moving on to some practical points I find useful. So uh, to apply Bosniak, <clears throat> the patient should not have any her hereditary renal uh, cancer syndromes that includes uh, uh, von Hippel-Lindau, uh, uh, tuberous sclerosis and so forth. Uh, we cannot apply that uh, Bosniak to these patients. Enhancement is a must for any uh, Bosniak 2F or higher. This is exception uh, was done for this one lesion, which is a uh, non-enhancing heterogeneous hyperintense mass, uh, which is the case I showed uh, for, uh, in my cases. So a nodule or uh, irregularity uh, is measured perpendicular to the wall, and it should not include the wall or septa. I'll show you on the diagram. So, uh, and cystic mass structure should not be measured on T2. It, all measurements should be taken from the post contrast images. This is because of the uh, debris and uh, blood products can exaggerate the size. So, this one diagram is to show uh, the acute versus obtuse margins. <clears throat> if you see this, uh, blue color uh, lesion, uh, the angle here uh, with the wall is obtuse uh, compared to this nodule over here, you see the angle is acute. The acute angles are features of Bosniak 4, the obtuse, if, if, the, if, if it's thin, is a feature of uh, Bosniak 3. So uh, some of the indications for uh, MRI, these three. Uh, so if the lesion in CT has abundant thick or nodular cal uh, calcification, that, and that is the case I brought uh, in the beginning. Uh, so the abundance uh, uh, calcification should be uh, uh, evaluated uh, with MRI. As you can see, this lesion has th this thick um, or uh, minimally thickened septum measuring three, so this is Bosniak three. Uh, homogeneously hyperattenuating lesion that, that is uh, larger than three centimeter as well, and heterogeneous non-enhancing lesions should be evaluated by MRI. Moving on to the recommendations. Uh, so Bosniak one and two should, uh, should have no follow-up. No uh, follow-up is not recommended for these lesions. For Bosniak 2F, we should follow uh, these lesions for six months and 12 months, then annually for the total of five years. Bosniak 3 and 4, these are for urology consultation. Finally, this uh, useful tool provided by the, uh, the article, you can scan this QR code. It can, it gonna, um, uh, got, uh, take you uh, to this website. Uh, it, it is a very useful tool uh, you can use. It can uh, kind of ask you uh, questions regarding the lesion and concern. Uh, if you follow the question, answer all these questions, it will give you the final Bosniak classification. And with that, I conclude. Thank you all uh, very much. Uh, this is the time for uh, any question you have. Thank you, Abdurrahman, for the